Hey everyone, this is The Untwisted Voice. Thanks for stopping by and watching my video. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? I'd really appreciate it. And again, thanks a lot for stopping by. Look at the little toy that was on the uh, countertop here in the kitchen. Let's listen to it. It's pretty cool, eh? <laughs> I can't believe it. You buy these really cool things at the dollar store, you know, this will shut off in a second. You know, the dollar stores are great, eh? They're, you can get some really cool stuff for kids. You know, what I want to talk to you today about is about something really serious. And that is the overwhelming feeling of sadness that leads into depression. And this may happen to you in early recovery. I know it happened to me, and it happened really quick in about the first couple of days, I was feeling really, really down depressed and sad and I was wondering what the hell is going on with me what's going on with me you know everybody around me was really happy that I quit drinking my mom was happy my father was happy my sisters were happy my friends were happy my girlfriend was happy everybody was happy and felt joyful and you know for me except me I was feeling depressed I was feeling sad and I kind of went down really, really fast. And I was wondering, why the hell am I feeling so bad? So after many years in sobriety, I sort of figured it out and I want to share it with you. You know, so let's back it up before I stopped drinking, before I started my journey on recovery. You know, I had a really lousy childhood. So I, I had image problems. I had a lot of hurt, a lot of pain as a child. I used alcohol to soothe that pain, to help me with my fear. I used alcohol for that. I really, really did. You know, I, I used alcohol to have sex with. I used alcohol before I went to funerals, weddings, baby showers, dances, asking a girl out, breaking up with a girl. Alcohol and drugs found their way into every nook and cranny of my life. I started drinking when I was 13, I stopped drinking when I was 28. And let me tell you something, before I picked up the bottle and the drugs, I had a lot of issues going on before. When I look back now, I say to myself, no wonder you are sad and depressed when you quit alcohol. You lost your best friend. You lost your medication for life. I used alcohol to take on life, to deal with life. I used it. So, when I stopped using alcohol and drugs, you know what happened? I lost my best friend. I was full of fear. I was full of worry. I was angry. I was discontent. All those emotions that were sitting there suppressed by alcohol and drugs came up like a volcano and boosh. No wonder I felt so depressed. No wonder I had overwhelming you know, bouts of sadness. I would cry at a dog food commercial. Ah, it was ridiculous how bad I felt about myself and the world around me. But if you look at it, you can understand why you feel like that. You can understand why I feel like that. I can understand that for myself. So when you quit alcohol, you quit drugs, you're probably going to feel pretty unhappy. You really, really are. What do you do? Well, some, I like to say it was easy, but it wasn't easy for me and I don't think it'll be easy for you. Hopefully it is easy for you. And not all, pe not all people feel sadness and feel depressed. Not all people feel like that. But I felt like that. I really did. What did I do? I kept going to meetings. I felt so hopeless that I, the only way I could, the only where I could, where I could go is up. So I kept going to meetings and I kept being, staying sober because I knew that if I don't stop drinking, or stop and stop using drugs, it's not going to get better for me. My gig was up. So whatever was going on, I had a trust in the journey. So I went to meetings. I got a sponsor. I shared. I cried. I shared. I cried. I shared. I cried. I was so lonely, I cried. But I kept going. I kept going. I kept going. A friend of mine in the program came up and said, Terry, why don't you go and see your medical doctor? I went to see a medical doctor. That doctor put me on Effexor. I was on antidepressants for 24 months to about 30 months. It helped me a lot. It helped me stabilize my moods. I wasn't feeling so low at times. If, if that's where the depression is taking you or the sadness is taking you, by all means, go and see your doctor. 
Talk to a medical professional or somebody in the addiction field about what's going on with you. Because if you need help, it's okay and it's not a relapse. But if you stay in pain, if you stay in depression, or you stay in sadness, that may lead to relapse. And you don't want that because you have to start over again. And that's where I was at. I didn't want to start over again. I didn't want to do it. I knew my gig was up. I knew I was very sad. I knew I was depressed. But I was willing to walk the walk and go through it, go through that journey of darkness and find my way out. And I did. And I really, really did. What I recommend is take care of yourself. A lot of self-care, a lot of self-love. Go easy on yourself. When you feel like crying, cry. If you feel down, express it. Don't be hard on yourself for feeling so sad or so depressed. It may come in bouts. It may stay for a few weeks. It may stay for a few months, but you will come out of it. You really, really will. That depression will lift. That sadness will lift. You will start feeling better. Guarantee it, you'll start feeling better. You really, really will. will. Drugs and alcohol kicked the living shit out of me in all areas of my life. How can I expect, after years of abuse, to feel 100% normal after quitting drugs and alcohol? How can I expect myself to feel 100% normal with all the garbage that people did to me and the things I did to other people? How can I feel like that? It's an, it's, I, I'm not saying it's impossible, but it takes time. And it takes one day at a time. So I hope you find this video helpful. And if you did, please leave a comment below, okay? And if you didn't, please leave a comment below. But can you all do one thing for me? Can you subscribe? To my channel can you subscribe to my channel I'd really appreciate that and maybe share your experience strength and hope in the comment how you got over your sadness how you got over your depression using the steps or maybe you went to a medical doctor or an addiction specialist to help you get over those bouts of heaviness sadness okay so thanks a lot for stopping by this is the untwisted voice of Terry G and as usual look after yourself because it shows. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. And remember, learn to dance. <laughs> what a fun little toy, eh? See you, see you later.